My dear child, there is a collective energy shift taking place all around you and your intuition has been picking up on it for quite some time now. The signs of a new beginning have been following you progressively each day. So many magical changes are preparing to enter your life but you are not gonna notice any of them. If your head is down and you are dwelling on the things your soul should have let go of by now. This is the perfect time to start implementing positive changes into your daily routine. This is the perfect time to start straightening the attraction you have to your blessings so that they can enter your life with easy. This is the perfect time to commit to the person you are becoming without holding any part of your spirit back. The universe has been communicating with you in new and inventive ways. Tune into its messages, the stars are aligning in your favor, so don't believe me. Just wait and see what is in store for you. Allow the magic to unfold as the synchronistic events lead you in a new direction. A revolutionary change chapter is about to emerge. So my child, know that. You will notice changes happening in your life when you start to choose, you start to see yourself as already worthy. Instead of waiting for someone else to see your worth and you will see that the path you have been walking on is finally making sense. The things that have happened and things that did not all are somehow leading you to the right place. You will find that none of your hard days have gone to waste that even though letting some people go was heartbreaking and painful. So it was truly worthwhile in the end and by allowing yourself to do what is best for you, you have made space for peace, choose yourself first. When peace and healing and the things that are worthy of you as well. You may feel like your life is heading in the wrong way that you are not doing enough and you will never get through these struggling days. But I hope you remember all those darkest days you have been through before and how you have held on to hope even then. Don't give up on yourself. You will find a way, maybe not today, but one day you will only if you decide to keep going, only if you choose to stay. Sometimes healing can be a journey of slow growth and invisible progress. Do and don't doubt your strength on those slow gentle days. Give yourself the time you need to process and the things that have happened and are still fresh. You do not have to rush this. Remember, not every day is a day for progress. 
are only there for trying your best and by being there for yourself through this difficult phase you are some are doing your best so my child know that remember that you will look back on the days you are currently living with gratitude for all the inner work you are doing and if you could zoom out and see what is about to happen in your life your entire spirit would be in a state of easy it is all going to work in your favor give each day your all and wake up and decide that today you will put your full effort in so don't stress over being perfect focus on getting a little bit better in each moment so what you focus on grows you are choosing love over fear and progress over perfection and as you give thanks for what you have you cast positive energy upon your life your goals are like a garden which requires daily watering your thoughts words and actions are the water to your growth speak wisdom and positivity into the world and abundance will follow your life has transformed ever since you choose to focus on the good in every situation so my child know that when you are waiting on me remember that you are in good company and if you are in the waiting room you are not alone in fact if you are in the waiting room right now maybe you are waiting on a job on a answer and or on a prayer so think about hana who had to wait years to have the baby that she was praying and i would give her think about joseph who had vision given by me of being ruler from a very young age but spent 14 years in a prison for a crime he did not commit Think of Moses who wandered in the wilderness for 40 years while he waited for his next assignment and to know his purpose in life. Think of Abraham who waited a hundred years before he had Isaac and the child I had promised him years before. Think about Noah who waited 20 years before it rained and for everything there is a reason and a purpose Without a plan I will never do anything and if are waiting for an answer don't worry because nothing will happen other than what I say in your life If I made you to wait that means I have a plan for you be patient in your waiting and trust me after waiting patiently Abraham received what was promised and in the same way in right time I lot will give what you need as per my plan So in a race everyone runs but only one person gets first prize so run your race to win to win the contest you must deny yourself many things 
that would keep you from doing your best an athlete goes to all this trouble just to win a blue ribbon or a silver cup but you should do it for a heavenly reward that never disappear so you should run straight to the goal with purpose in every step and you should fight to win you are walking through a different kind of door your environment is going to want to change and as you continue to grow let it adaptation is necessary in this new state of flow allow the energy of your surroundings to be organic what comes is as a result of your vibe what goes is as a result of your vibe and as you float in this type of rhythm of self truth you create an honest space for yourself and those around you so my child no dad saying yes to change is saying yes to messy don't give up don't look at messy life it is one moment in your life Don't look at change like it is only been a month. You are far stronger than when you first started. Don't throw away all the strength you have learned. Don't throw away the chances you have given to yourself to keep going. There are times when changes will feel like it is tearing you down and perhaps it is because it has to. Because it has to make room for the new, because it has to make room for what is to come. So don't say a broken wall or space is the end for you. change is breaking you down so that you don't rise out of the trouble with old pieces change is breaking you down so you can let go of past pieces and embrace stronger parts of yourself you are here to move forward so never forget that So my child know that synchronistic events are all around you now all of the coincidences that are happening to you are no accident this is a creation in action pay special attention to all of the details in your life at this time It does not matter how insignificant something appears it is not by chance it is divine design So things are shifting and moving for you in the most amazing ways just when you need to know something someone shows up with the answer Just when you decide you want a new job someone offers you an interview and just when you decide you want to meet more people someone sends you an invite to a social gathering synchronicities happen as if by magic So pay attention to the small synchronicities in your life as well. This is the universe showing you the way. And if you notice small synchronicities often in your day. It is to tell you that this is the right path and as you follow this path the synchronicities will unfold even more and produce magical events. 
that lead you in an entirely new direction nothing is by chance everything is happening for a reason and this is a gift from spirit and the universe and you are being asked to trust it so my child know that you need to remember that one day someone will come along and it will make sense why everything happened the way that it did and it will all make a sense the hurt breaks the lost friendships the tears that soaked your pillow for weeks until the pain subsided It will no longer be your throat but your heart that skips a beat and you will finally accept that true love makes you grow not wither true love makes you smile so not cry true love feels your heart with so much happiness that there is no room for pain and when there is pain it is for them and not because of them So one day this person who you dream of will come along and instead of sweeping you off your feet they will hold your hand and walk with you So it will happen and it must happen because you deserve all the happiness in the world and a love that makes you grow You deserve a love that teaches you how to love yourself and a lover who will respect you and treat you as an equal. You deserve a lover who will care for you and never make you shed a single tear and one day someone will walk into your life and they would not leave you sight. and that is when you will understand that true love stays it always stays so my child know that other people can't put your pieces back together they can't fix you they can't heal you past trauma or somehow fight all your battles for you You need to stop looking for answers in them. You need to stop believing that love will save you. You have to understand that you are the only way out of this message that you find yourself in. You have to believe that nothing others will say or do can fix your problems and you need to let go of seeking their validation or relying on those around you of believing that maybe just maybe everything will work out if you continue to search for answers in others they don't have the answers that you are looking for Love does not have the solution if you want to find a way to solve your problems look within yourself because that is where you will find it To become a magnet for everything that is aligned with your soul and you got to see yourself as worthy of it all The key is to near associate your worth to the outcome of something don't give in to the fear based conditioning of reward and punishment The moment you give yourself the validation you always deserve instead of seeking it from those 
who don't even see their own worth instantly there is a shift in your vibration the person who waits for the outcome to feel worthy will forever be controlled by the outside influence but the one who knows they are worthy already becomes the master of their lives your high vibrational energy attracts everything and that is in alignment with you you no longer have to chase as you became magnetic so my child know that there are times when you realize that some people in your life are only there when things are easy and fun they are the ones who are all smiles when everything is going well but when tough times come when life gets cloudy and you feel really down they disappear like they were never there it's painful because you thought these people were your friends the ones you could trust with your thoughts and secrets and you would stick with you through good and bad times you share your stories and dreams so believing your bond was strong and could handle anything but when tough times arrive when life became more about sadness than happiness they walked away it's like their loyalty was as changeable as the weather so you are left feeling really sad not just because they are gone but because you thought your friendship was something special it is not just about missing them it is also about losing trust and the feeling that some friendships can survive anything i know it hurts a lot but in this sadness please remember to cherish those who stay with you not just when everything is perfect but especially when life gets really tough well you the friends who are there for you when things get difficult who offer a shoulder to lean on when your problems feel too heavy to carry alone real friendship is not about how many moments you have had together but about the constant support and love they give you when life gets really hard so when you see those fair weather friends leave when time gets tough remember that it shows how special your true friends are so they are the ones who will stand by you no matter what even though your heart may still hurt it shows how much love you can give and how strong you are when things don't go as expected even when you are feeling sad you can find comfort in the genuine friendships that are still there like a source of support during tough times sometimes you became lost in searching for signs that someone is meant for you only to neglect the glaring signs that they are not it as if you are wearing blinders focusing so intensely on what you want to see that you miss the truth right in front of you you start asking the universe for signs analyzing every little detail and hope desperately that they are your soulmate but sometimes deep down you know you see the inconsistency 
द अनसर्टेनिटीज एंड द वे दे मेक यू क्वेश्चन योर वर्थ एंड इट इज़ हार्ट ब्रेकिंग बिकॉज यू हैव इन्वेस्टेड योर होप्स एंड ड्रीम्स इन दिस पर्सन You wanted them to be your happily ever after but love should not be about convincing yourself or searching for signs It should be clear it should be mutual and it should feel right so perhaps this serves as a reminder to trust your instincts and not ignore the signs that someone might not be mean for you It's painful to accept but sometimes letting go is the first step to finding the love that truly belongs to you. My joy know that. Pay mind to what you give your attention to. You became what you consume not only with food and drink but also with the music you listen to. the shows you watch and the post you scroll by the subconscious has a feature called total recall which means when you hypnotize someone after walking down a busy street they would recall the conversations going on behind them in front of them and every detail in every store they passed on the street this is because of total recall and we all have it your subconscious notices everything your conception impacts you even i think you are not paying attention you are precious your energy is scared and your mind is divine choose to consume in alignment with that so my child know that success means differently for everyone around the world whether it be a desk job doing something you love being able to provide for your family or working at the same company for a decade Your success should never have to be confined by simple generic definitions. You don't always have to be on top to call it success. You don't always need to have large amount of cash in your bank. You don't always need to have a eight streams of income like everyone else. If what you are doing right now manifests the best possible version of yourself, you could call that success because here is the thing. You don't always have to play the same rules everyone else play by. You don't always have to follow the same journey that others have done it. And what truly matters is whether you choose the life you are living. What matters is focusing on where you want to be rather than where expectations of others demand you should be. And if your life is not your own, then how can it be your own brand of success? Choose the life you want to lead, choose the place you want to grow and build from. Making your own decisions count more than relying on society's definition of success. Slow down from all the responsibility resting on your shoulders. Slow down from all the pressure life demands. Hard work takes you far, but there are times too where life is more than just putting in the work. You have to show up for all the times. You are allowed to rest. You have to show up for all the times. You are allowed to relax and have a fun. Don't lose your childish self so you can earn more. Don't lose your childish self so you can climb higher up the ladder. There is a reason we are where we are and there is a reason the present exists and why the future remains a completely mystery. 
so we can't accelerate our lives we can only hope we have made the right choices up to today and as scary as the sounds you need to live in the moment to remind yourself and it is not what the future holds that truly scares us so it is being unable to live up to our own future expectations so slow down slow down and remember where you are right now is where changes happen slow down take your childish self and create a better present to lead a better future so my child know that Maybe this period of your life is not about finding someone to love but falling in love with the person buried without within you maybe it is about learning about yourself through exploration maybe it is about being a bit more daring maybe it is about finding your potential maybe it is about expanding your knowledge wandering the world making connections forming new perspectives and stretching into the person you have always wanted to be Maybe it is about kayaking in wild rivers, sitting in a coffee shop while you journal your thoughts away, dancing in the rain, climbing a mountain and making friends along the way. Maybe it is about learning a new language, studying a new art form and running a marathon. Maybe it is about rising early, sitting peacefully and giving more gratitude. Maybe it is about connecting with an old friend, hugging someone in need and supporting someone to follow their dream. Maybe it is about watching your favorite childhood movies, sleeping until noon and calling in sick to do something you have always dreamed of doing. Maybe this period of your life is not about seeking someone other than yourself perhaps it is about surprising yourself with your capacities and capabilities maybe this phase is about falling deeply in love and being in awe with no one other than yourself so normalize keeping people in your life at a distance saying no without explanations or giving others without wanting to deepen the relationship excusing yourself from environments then just don't feel right and flourishing without approval you will realize it one day that happiness was never in the hands words or thoughts or others so happiness was about embracing yourself regardless of opinions happiness was about you approving yourself and every version that ever existed happiness was about creating a life you felt proud of despite the number of people disappointed along the way Just because your strength is not obvious to others it does not mean it does not exist strength is not always visible like tree roots beneath the ground strength is not always loud or moving strength does not always come with the look of determination or a feverishly elevated heartbeat it also arrives with contentment in the eyes and a calm rhythm in the chest strength is sometimes stuck in the quietest corner corners or your body but with no less drive and vigor than roaring and exposed strength you are strong regardless of how your strength looks feels or sounds 
you are strong regardless of how quietly or loudly you fight your battles you are strong regardless of how your strength show up and irrespective of how it may appear to the world don't you ever forget that so dear god loving father thank you for the gifts of this new day thank you also for keeping me and my family safe and secure the past days father first of all i would like to say sorry for the sins and shortcomings that i have committed in my life please forgive me and bless me with the necessary guidance healing and strength and i may be transformed to the kind of person you divinely planned me to become holy enlightened peaceful free empowered and purpose driven second father please help me to know and love more your son jesus who is the light and savior of my life you give jesus to me so that you may dwell in me for as i remain in your son and i remain in you almighty father thank you for constantly blessing me with your breath of life and peace and your patience and compassionate love please watch over me throughout this day whether i am at work or sleep or in sorrow and pain father i put my faith hope and trust in you because you are the only one who can give peace fulfillment forgiveness and healing to anyone who comes to you for help and guidance likewise father i ask you to completely take over my mind heart and soul at this very moment free me from burdensome and unhelpful thoughts emotions and habits fill me with your light and strength so i may withstand all the challenges and trials that come my way in jesus name amen almighty father thank you for this day thank you also for being the light and strength of my life father your light in my heart empowers me to see and feel that there is always a purpose and hope in my life and this world i live in this continue to dwell in me in my mind heart and soul also father bless me with a preserving heart and a positive mindset so that i will always be driven and bounce forward despite the trials and setbacks in my journey I also lift to you the needs and concerns of my family members and friends in Jesus name amen So my child know that you are able to build a strength within you always know that strength comes from many different sources This is a time to dig deep within you are in a strain. This will bring self confidence, amplify your vibration and create a balanced body, mind and soul. Your soul center has a unique way of replenishing your energy with strength on a continual basis and you have what it takes to make things happen. You may be going through something challenging but don't look at yesterday's disappointments or failures. You have so much determination and will power deep inside you to trump over it. Don't underestimate your inner strength. Believe in yourself because you got the power. You can get through anything. When you put your mind to it don't give up keep fighting you are amazing Always choose love in everything you do 
and when you are struggling with an obstacle or conflict choose love this will prevent the energy of suffering doubts and frustration it will all transform in the presence of beautiful love so open your heart and to show your love courageously show your love openly show your love unconditional and knowing that it is safe to give and receive love If you have a difficult time with loving yourself clean the clutter let go of unnecessary energy that no longer serves you and start shining your light so that others can find true happiness This is a message that it is time to find the big love in your heart and be that beautiful amazing person you are it is time to shine your light bright and love yourself Believe in your success as you would someone you admire. Treat your stumbles with the same kind words you would share to uplift a friend. Speak to yourself with the same gentleness you would use to calm an anxious child. Encourage your journey with the same enthusiasm you would offer someone on the verge of winning, and you are worthy of receiving the care. you effortlessly give an optimistic mindset is necessary to push past obstacle and transform challenging situation to attract better you must believe in the possibility of better so keep building despite blunders today claim your victory stay positive and have a faith that you will overcome you deserve every moment of success you see trust in the divine timing of blessings so my child know that it's time to get up it's time to get creating in the real world manifesting all you have been dreaming of focusing on the present moment will help you here So just keep asking yourself what can you do today that will bring you closer to the manifestation of what you desire this thought may result in a physical practical answer or it may result in an answer that focuses on recharging your energy so you can take the next physical action it may result in you needing to do some research it may result in you connecting with others and whatever the answer is for you today just go with it so allow this to flow naturally as it needs to rome was not built in a day and all you want to manifest would not be either but by taking each moment as it comes and taking whatever steps you feel guided to do so you will see how this all helps and makes a difference is when you stop at some point and look back and reflect on what is being achieved everything you are wishing to create is all available by being in the now moment so keep listening to your inner guidance as you take each step You may be feeling that call to go within and that is exactly what the universe is guiding you towards. There is so much the universe is wanting to tell you right now. So you should receive lots of downloads. So make sure you have paper and pen handy so you can write down all this guidance coming through. Some of this guidance will be about your physical life and steps you are being guided. to take and some of this will be spiritual wisdom and the deepening of your spiritual gifts you may find certain gifts becoming stronger or new gifts opening up to you over the coming weeks make plenty of time to go within as you are ready for your another level of spiritual growth so my child know that 
I hope you allow your life to be more than you ever thought it could be. I hope you press back on the limiting thoughts that have made you cling so tightly to the worlds you have already outgrown. I hope you will listen to the little calling in your heart that knows what's really true even if your mind does not yet understand how it might be possible. I hope you will consider that maybe there is more available to you than you even know to ask for. I hope you will let yourself be expanded to see that there are others just like you taking big leaps in the directions you always hope to go but have just been waiting on the courage. I hope you will take any nothing for granted, no lesson, no person, no place. I hope you will see that everything was a teacher, <clears throat> even the most unlikely of experiences was in some way there to guide to your path. <clears throat> I hope you will have faith in the fact that everything that is meant for you will find you remain with you or return to you. It is only a matter of when. I hope you will realize that when you ask for a bigger experience. You will first be handed the lessons that will grow you into the type of person who would have that life you want. I hope you will begin to see the purpose in what is seem meaningless. I hope you will never lose faith that your happy ending is still there. I still waiting. I hope you will remember that is no desire that can be within us without an equal amount of potential to make it reality. I hope you will let yourself dream. I hope you will let yourself consider more than you assumed you would be able to have not always in scale but in depth and beauty and truth. I hope you will know that no experience will be wasted. I hope you know it will all eventually add up. Most of all, I hope you will realize that the journey was the becoming, not the arriving. I hope you will give yourself the chance to enjoy the journey while you are still on it. So, my child, know that when you live in a world that is constantly telling you to follow your heart, trust your gut. Quite your job and do what you love, it can be disheartening to discover you don't know where to start. And if you think you do not know what it is you want to do with your life and what you really mean is that you are not yet quite clear on who you really are. So finding your purpose is not necessarily about realizing that you are destined to live in a monastery or devotee your life to a singular vocation or goal. Your purpose is not one job, it is not one relationship, it is not even one career field. Your purpose is first and foremost just to be here, to grow through the transits of being human to develop yourself in lived experience from the inside out. Your existence has shifted the world in a way that is invisible to you. Your purpose today may have been to offer someone a smile when they were at their lowest, your purpose this decade may be the job that you are in. And when you realize that you are always impacting the world around you, you start to realize something the most important thing you can do to live meaningfully is to work on yourself first. To consciously become the happiest, kindset, most gracious version of yourself. This is the foundation upon which all else will be built. 
you are the blueprint of your future and as the stockists say your character becomes your fate everything that you are experienced everything that you are good at every circumstances you have found yourself in everything that you are passionate about it is not random it is a reflection of who you are so my child know that when your anxiety is getting the best of you just read this i know you are tired even though you just wake up but just to your best today and that is all anyone can ask of you that is all you can ask of yourself don't push yourself too much i know you are scared to fail so much so you are striving for perfection and you beat yourself up every time you fall short you are your own worst enemy and i am here to tell you you don't need to be i know you are worrying and thinking too much and everyone is telling you to relax so but you can't seem to i want you to know it shows a sign of strain caring much as you do this is not a weakness but a virtue of yours you have a heart that does not want to hurt people you come off as paranoid but i know you just want to make the right choices know that you already are you are doing great i know your heart is racing but you discuss it with a smile So in those moments where anxiety is controlling you take a deep breath do whatever you need to that will calm your nerves it is okay to be like this and you don't need to change So just learn to breathe through it to accept it and conquer it I know you hate yourself for breaking down and crying in private because of something you could not control even if it was something small stop hating yourself stop beating yourself up it is okay to have those moment as long as you don't let them define you There is so much more to you than your anxiety. So when your anxiety is getting the best of you and you are hating yourself for it, I want you to remember this, it will all be okay. Your entire life is going to be okay. The relationships and the people who belong in your life will not leave you. No one thinks you are a burden as you run over details a million times of things playing out in your mind. You do whatever you need to to live with this. Everyone else will learn to adapt also. Remember you are loved, you are needed, you are cared about and your anxiety does not define you so don't let it. so my child know that let go and let god the best advice but hard to adjust to this way of handling life when you are used to tensing up stressing trying to make it work letting go feels like defeat but think back to all you have stressed and worried about in your lifetime it's all worked out one way or another had you let go and let god right away you would have avoided the mental anguish it is okay a lesson moving forward let go and let god release control releases the stress 
go with his flow trusting it will work out just as it always has so your feelings are absolutely valid you feel a certain way and no one else can tell you that you don't or should not everyone's feeling are based on so many things childhoods past experiences sleep hunger emotional state and the events of the day feelings are not wrong or right but they are also not facts helps to remember the facts god is good and you are loved and there is a plan and it will work out so feel the feelings but make decisions based on the facts trust god despite your feelings feelings fade god does not so today we raise our hearts and voices for those who left us too soon for those fighting to stay here and those whose days are riddled with mental health difficulties so you are not alone we have never had more access to one another than we do now we must reach out to each other it is not silly to follow your intuition and check on someone you notice has not been themselves and it is not weak to ask someone for support and strength we are all in this together as a collective we must look out for each other but we can only do for someone else what we have done for ourselves so monitoring and trending to your mental health starts with checking in on your thoughts emotions and relationships these three pillars of life often reflect changes in mental well-being so if you sense that you could be doing better than you are ask for help whether it is from a professional or someone else reaching out is the most critical and pivotal step in addressing any changes in mental health so together we can continue to build a world where mental health is prioritized with compassion empathy and support leading the way and for those of you navigating your mental health today so know your possesses mighty resilience and strength the love and strength of this community are here to help carry you through dear someone know that my heart breaks for the mother who will not be holding her child as she goes to sleep my heart bleeds bleeds for the children who will never wake to a new morning because someone decided to rob them of their peace i don't know what is ross then living knowledge knowing that you would not be able to grow with the ones you have always loved my heart bleeds for that child who had big dream that child who barely lived a happy life that child with hopes in his eyes and for a better future only to be robbed of this life today my heart is bleeding for the people who will never see their loved ones grow old with them my heart is heavy and my eyes are tired of crying for the silent people who the world sees as unimportant to the children of palestine i am sorry you did not have a childhood because the world ignore your cry to the mothers of palestine i am sorry your cries were not loud enough to awaken the world so to the men of palestine i am sorry for all the times you saw your loved ones dies in front of your eyes peace be upon the hearts that are burdened with grief the hearts that are broken but still choose to see light even when no one recognizes their cries
I wondered how you felt when our eyes meet after months of not talking. It was like we were complete strangers, but this time with memories I felt cold, like your gaze was stripping me of my warmth. It felt like the world had re- reached and it was just you and me suspended in time. I heard the echoes of your voice, the relentless cries of my heart begging you to stay. part of me wanted to tell you that this month within you were hell i wanted to yell at you for breaking my heart for destroying the only thing that keep me going but part of me was happy that i survived your absence So I wanted to tell you that I no longer needed someone to rescue me from the hell you put me through. I could not help but wonder if you felt the same. Did you feel the weight of time and the memories that came with it? Or were you simply standing there indifferent to the past and the emotions it evoked? I think you forget everything we had between us. I really wanted to tell you so many things, but you did not deserve it. But as the silence stretched on, I realized that you never cared and when love was between us, I was the only one loving. Maybe it was then when i decided to let go our past was just that the past and it was time to move on so my child know that in a world where digital persona dominate the social realm and there is a constant pressure to conform to an ideal then to become the best version of yourself and as authenticity becomes increasingly scarce it also became what we subconsciously crave from ourselves and each other so the unedited self is full of perceived flaws your uniqueness is hidden in the cracks of your personality instead of airbrushing your interest and photoshopping your individual Treats try embodying everything the world say is wrong with you. Imagine the power and beauty in connections that would come from being yourself. Picture what a career that reflects your genuine interest could feel like. Soak in the un. fatumbly joy sensation of celebrating your own skin there is not a single mountain on earth that would shrink its magnificence simply because it is told it is too grand so nor a flower that would rearrange its petal to suit a garden why then would you shape your essence by someone else's standards So living with authenticity and integrity does not guarantee that everyone will embrace you or your principle however it ensures that those who do will be authentic compassionate individuals who enrich your life So the act of surrounding yourself with people who align with you is a form of self love as it creates a supportive and nurturing ecosystem in which personal growth and well-being thrive and to let go of people who don't appreciate who you really are is a win it means more space to become who you are meant to be someone you will recognize because it is the person you have handcrafted and stand tall in your authenticity and those who are also genuine 
will rise with you while the rest scatter like fallen leaves so my child know that lay everything aside and worship the lord don't worry about tomorrow stop returning to all the details of yesterday's mistakes and make a joyful noise to the lord so many things try to hold us back from giving the lord all we have in thanksgiving and worship his love endures forever forever and ever and ever not one moment has there is been or will there ever be here where he is not chasing after your heart he know you before you were born know how many hairs are on your head that is not by chance he knows us he is the god of everything and everyone he is also our father so a personal relationship with depth communication love correction understanding and full love grace what a blessing it is to be fully known and loved by the creator of all so i hope you find someone who will slowly lessen your loneliness until completely goes away someone who will not run away after seeing the rift in your heart but instead it will go out of the way to stand by you i hope you find someone who will care about the troubles that are living inside your head someone who will understand why you overthink someone who will honestly tell you everything that on his mind so you will not have to worry and doubt yourself i hope you find someone better than the last person you loved i hope that when you will be ready to enter in a relationship again you will carefully choose someone whom you will be certain about spending your future with i hope you will not settle for less i hope you will not commit to someone who does not realize the value you are i hope you find the right one I hope you find someone who will be able to handle your enthusiasm about life, your loud and energetic vibes, your total independence and your passion in pursuit of your dreams. I hope you find the person who will help you grow and flourish. I hope you find someone who will bring out the best in you. I hope you find someone who will make dating simple, someone who will want more than just casual someone who will not be afraid to show you and tell you their feelings someone who will not be interested in playing by the rules of a dating game someone who will not keep telling of who text first and last and i hope you are still the kind of person who believes in happy endings So I hope you don't give up in search for your compatible lover no matter how uncertain you are about when that person will take a major role in your life and I hope you keep the light in your soul because that person hurt holds So my child know that I hope you allow your life to be more than you ever thought it could be. I hope you press back on the limiting thoughts that have made you cling so tightly to the worlds you have already outgrown. I hope you will listen to the little calling in your heart that knows what is really true and even if your mind does not yet understand how it might be possible.
I hope you will consider that maybe there is more available to you than you even know to ask for. I hope you will let yourself be expanded to see that there are others just like you taking big leaps in the direction you always hope to go. But have you just been waiting on the courage? I hope you will take nothing for granted, no lesson, no person, no place. And I hope you will see that everything was a teacher. And even the most unlikely of experiences some way there to guide your path. I hope you will have faith in the fact that everything that is meant for you will find you, remain with you or return to you. And it is only a matter of when. I hope you will realize that when you ask for a bigger experience, you will first be handed the lessons that will grow you into the type of person who would have that life you want. And I hope you will begin to see the purpose in what is seem meaningless. I hope you will never lose faith that your happy endings is still there, still waiting and I hope you will remember that is no desire that can be within us without an equal amount of potential to make it reality. So I hope you will let yourself dream, I hope you will let yourself consider more than you assume and you would be able to have not always in scale but in depth and beauty and truth. I hope you will know that no experience will be wasted. I hope you know it and will all eventually add up. Most of all I hope you will realize that the journey was the becoming not the arriving. I hope you will give yourself the chance to enjoy the journey and while you are still on it. So my child know that. They always say when someone leaves that is when you find out now. The other people really feels but she still talks about you in the best of light. She does not let a heartbreaking ending change the memories that were good. Anger is an easier emotion to process and deal with and so many of us use that to cover what we are really feeling. And it is easier to say you hate this person rather than admit and I am hurt, I am disappointed, I have been let down, I am devastated over what I lost, anger, mask, pain, helping to forget. But she refuses to let you turn a hurt so pure, dark. She refuses to let pain change her, so she feels through it and she feels through your absence. She feels through the pain, she feels through those moments she wants to reach out to you, but she knows she should not. She wears these feelings that most can't process with a little bit of grace. So even though it hurts and she has moments of missing, You that pain is an indication you matter and she will never take that from you. She still has her moments when she drives down a certain road holding back tears because it brings her back to riding shotgun in your car. Or when she avoids certain restaurants because that spot was yours. When she opens her top drawer and the photo booth picture sits stuck away. 
and where she is meet with your ghost in certain rooms of the house like the morning you cook breakfast dancing around the kitchen or when she wake up a little more slowly starting an empty side of the bed remembering how each morning started it was a time when love was so evidently a leading factor in her life until it was not so she was heard break like an oversized old sweater with holes one refuses to throw away she reaches for her phone to type a message but realizes even if it gets delivered so much has changed between you two familiar stranger caught somewhere between a common past and a future that does not include one another but she would have continued to walk with you and if you did not deliberately lose her along the way and in the separate attempt to try and find you and that is when it hit her you did not want to be found so my child know that maybe you don't end up with the person your heart chooses maybe that is not how life works maybe you don't get what you want maybe you end up finding what you need and maybe the universe knows what you need more than you do maybe love changes maybe it goes from it will wait up and call you after work to i am going to sleep i am tired maybe it goes from you have nothing to worry about and to i really wish you did not overthink so much maybe it goes from i choose you to i have to choose myself right now maybe love is not one of those things that grows with people maybe you became too big for it maybe it became too uncomfortable too small for who you change into maybe it is like that sweater you always loved growing up or your childhood bag you learn to appreciate it for what it was but you come to terms with the fact that you have outgrow it you learn to let it go and maybe letting go of love is not some loud celebration at the end of a dark tunnel maybe letting go is the moment you decide that you can no longer keep the past alive inside of you maybe it is quiet maybe there is no checklist or way of telling if it was actually happen maybe it is simply just you learning how to release your grip how to let things be how to lay down your arms maybe that is how it's done in the silence of it all and in the calmness of everyday life I am starting to learn that maybe walking away is the best thing you can do for yourself and for the person you love maybe walking away is you making peace with the fact that sometimes things and people are happiness changes maybe it is the bravest things you can do so my child know that your life expresses one thing and one thing only your state of consciousness everything is dependent upon that as you through the medium of imagination assume a state of consciousness that state being to clothe self in form it solidify around you as the serpent skin ossifies around it 
but you must be faithful to the state you must not go from state to state but rather wait patiently in the one invisible state until it takes on form and becomes an objective fact consciousness calls things that are not seen as though they were and it does this by first defining itself at that which it desired to express and second by remaining within the defined state until the invisible becomes visible here is the perfect working of the law according to the story of no this very moment you are aware of being and this awareness of being this knowing that you are is no the creator Are you connected with your needs and emotions? If not, then you can't very well connect to God or people. Ignoring and avoiding our emotions and needs blocks us from appreciating God's grace, wisdom, power, and peace for us. It distances us from God and people who actually want to love and care for us, but can't because we are hiding what we feel and need. but when we express our emotions to god and trusted friends we can receive the empathy validation and comfort that straighten us to be able to carry our burdens so being vulnerable and receiving empathy love and prayer are all expression of trusting faith in the god of all comfort and as we do this we will be able to better hear god's voice sense his presence and receive his gifts of healing so then our eyes will be opened and our heart will be available for god to work in around and through us and the plasma are a great model for this they show us how to feel understand and pray through our worries and all our distressing emotions so like david we can tell god what we are feeling even if it is anger at him and he listen and is concerned and responsive as we share openly and honestly with god and tender hearted friends in the body of christ we will begin to experience more of god's peace receive his care and see his hand at work in our lives so not all joy is genuine and a gift from the lord there is a difference between enjoying an activity in a relational way and appreciating it as god's blessing versus using pleasure to wage out or escape reality so our culture often settles for the later we get high on adrenaline success media stimulation pleasing people being in a hurry entertainment buying stuff etc so these things may be bring excitement but they are not a replacement for joy and while behaviors like watching tv drinking coffee etc are not sinful they may be passive to joy diversions from god's hair and now kingdom of righteousness peace and joy in the holy spirit joy comes with the presence of god's spirit true and enduring joy is a part of the fruit of the spirit and it is a singular because the qualities go together so loving relational connections with god and people naturally brings joy and are followed by peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self control
we often think of joy and peace as emotional states but as dallas willard explains love joy and peace are not mere feelings but condition of the whole person that are accompanied by characteristic positive feelings the fruit of the spirit is not a bunch of feeling we can manufacture it is the virtue of those who abide in the christ vine love joy and peace grow in us and out of us to bless others when we live in the spiritual reality of god's grace garden of grace so this is why paul while in prison and being mistreated can genuinely say rejoice in the lord again i say rejoice the lord is near he is appreciating that the spirit of jesus is with him delighting in him loving him and strengthening him so he is emotionally for god provisions we too can became the kind of people who are so joyful that it excludes from us even in unhappy circumstances practicing disciplines of rejoicing can reshape our brains to assist our emotional relational circulatory to flow in faith so my child know that remember time is fluid so this could be a message for now or it may have already happened or not happen yet the keeper of secrets you are keeping something really close to your chest and that is a good thing you have something you don't want to share with others just yet because you don't think it's time you are a very generous person and when you have accomplished what you set out to you are more than happy so to give to those who are important to you i have no idea what you are working on but it's a clear that there is something big you may only have a tiny seed of an idea right now or a relationship could be in its early stages so you want to give time for it to grow before you share this with everyone else i keep seeing a buffet and it seems to symbolize that you will have plenty to share give or may even host an event to share your good news so intuitively you know there is a reason to keep this is to yourself right now and it's for some you may be starting a spiritual business or changing your career so that it aligns with your lifestyle and values so this is a great time to think up ways to make money which feels connected to your heart and it is always easier to make money when you are doing what you love so equally it could be useful to invest in some help so that you can achieve even more lastly someone around you may soon gift you with something so you may have a feeling this is coming but you will still be surprised when it happens you could be getting out feelings that you will meet someone or someone will buy you a present or purpose etc it is important that you pay attention to that feeling so my child know that it can be worked out stop thinking this way that dreams don't come true a life can not be so beautiful that it's too good to be true this person's energy that i'm seeing is all about you so there are some insecurities here and there which is workable so much feeling so many emotions and all leading to one thing that is this person is equally invested as you are so don't doubt this because person is like a mirror image of you 
whenever you feel that you don't know what to say here or what is happening just think how would you react or feel or expect to be made to feel it is the same way this person feels too the universe is pouring some love and happiness in your life accept it without doubting so let the past be in the past so you don't have to doubt every good thing in life i am repeating this that this person is equally invested as you are and they want to take this forward sometimes what you do or say or something about your behavior makes them doubt everything you are not negative and you are not doing it intentionally you are just reflecting old behavior on them which this person is completely unaware of so whatever is holding those emotions inside and not letting it come out is a devil energy which has you trapped for a very long time and this is something about saying so it is a time for some relieving and some kind of awakening in the situation that you are in and i see a person also who has a lot of feelings inside but they are scared and i also see that you two are struggling somewhere there so i see that this person is awoken and aware one very interesting and funny thing i am picking up there is something about going back in circles knowing all the divineness of this connection and then again going back to the same place and again questioning everything so that math already done guys that discussion already happened this feelings that you are experiencing is very new maybe you have not experienced something like this before maybe that is the reason you and this person keeps going back in circle let this flow let life happen it's time for a judgment moment revelation and declaration allow that by just being you don't obstruct the process it's time to feel emotions in a way you have not felt before life is offering newness so accept it so my child know that reveal your radiance and light up your life and the life of others be authentic to who you are you need not copy or imitate anyone else just do you so as you are continue to heal you get out of your own way to shine the light for others to do the same know that your light is needed in this world so not dim it just because others are uncomfortable in their own skin so be that beacon of light knowing that you can love and support others to find their way spirit are pushing you to love yourself enough to go after your dreams and radiate your energy to draw your energy into alignment so my child know that the divine masculine crest is receiving a massive consciousness of opening during this eclipse season to the scorpio new moon november 13 they are waking up from the sleep spell they have been under and opening their eyes to their divine feminine crest match there this is a god's offer of the holy grail that will return original divine counterpart back home into the holy land god is commanding forgiveness and peace between the masculine and feminine to end division for good and this is happening through the consciousness 
awakening that is freeing divine unions to return back into position as new far ladders of the way god's all stars <laughs> the goodness i can handle every situation nothing is a surprise to him i saw the graphic the other day that said our king is seated he is not practically pacing he is not anxious or nervous he is not unsettled or scared he is seated seated and secure when the world feels like it's crumbling the stress and he want us to bring to him seek him and tell him every feeling and every thought allow him to comfort you allow him to refine you rest in him come to me and all who you are weary and burdened and will give you rest so take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my oak is easy and my burden is light he is here for us if you love me keep my commands and it will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever the spirit of truth the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him or knows him but you know him for he lives with you and will be in you i will not leave you as orphans i will come to you before long the world will not see me any more but you will see me because i live you also will live on that day you will realize that so i am in my father and you are in me and i am in you whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me the one who loves me will be loved by my father and i too will love them and show myself to them loving all that i am learning through this study it is focus is on plasma but it encourages truth that are all throughout the bible so dear someone no i am at point in my life where i am stringy with my energy not everything deserves a reaction from me and i will not waste my energy correcting and justifying or explaining anything especially if the connection is not worth it some arguments are just a waste of time so i will not waste my efforts trying to be invisible playing small or tiptoeing around others so i don't inconvenience them with my presence i will not treat myself poorly to make someone else feel better about themselves i am as worthy as you are and i sincerely apologize to myself for every time i treated myself like i was not that was unacceptable so i am not the kind of woman who will bow down to someone else expectations or unspoken rule i am not there to fit into a box that was curated for me by anybody else i speak my mind i fully express myself and i stand up for what i believe in even if i am the odd voice in the room i am not in the slightest bit concerned about ruffling any feathers 
let them ruffle but i will not hold my tongue or go against my values to gain anybody's liking or approval i am not for everyone nor do i want to be especially so if it means losing myself to gain you liking i respect myself too much to alter who i am for an outside approval your approval is not value and it certainly is not needed i hope you know that your heart is enough you are smart enough and funny enough and interesting enough your smile is enough your light is enough and the part of you that you struggle with and try to hide they are enough too and if you just want to sit for hours and not say a single word your presence is enough you don't have to talk to fill the noise you don't have to say anything at all just stay true to yourself offer who you are not who you think the world wants you to be because i promise your heart is enough and you are enough and you have nothing to prove so my child know that the unicorn not only symbolizes purity but also innocence hopes dream magic and ideals it is also about fresh new beginnings by not looking to the past but seeing a bright new future and if there are dreams that have eluded you then this message is letting you know that all things are possible there is magic in the making and if you are willing to embrace this into your life for some of you this also indicates a time for purification and renewal and may require you to make those changes you know you must but have been avoiding see things through the eyes of the innocent child and wonders will appear so be aware that a light is being thrown onto hidden areas of your life to bring them into the light for healing and transmutation know that things may be revealed at this time that push you into making unexpected decisions and changes that may feel unnecessary and not needed but in truth are the way forward and able to create more of what you really want in your life be aware that as this hidden truths meanings and decisions arise it can be a testing time where emotions are heightened and you need to look after and love yourself first take time to love and nurture yourself through this healing process and know that you are deserving of what wonderful experiences and opportunities are to come As Krishna entered the city of Mathura people were blinded by his radiance he outshone everyone in the land and they called him their prince their savior and their lord and people flocked to him everywhere he went Kubja however stood away from Krishna through her heart warm with this goodness she was aware that her ugliness would have the same effect on him heartbreak and dejection as on other people for she was a hunchback and was called tibakra her figure was distorted and she stood with one hand on her back to ease the ache of her body's discomfort she looked ugly as she was awkward and miss happen
Her hair was rough and dry and her skin was dark and mottled. She had a large screwed nose and a hard voice. She carried a small earthen pot in one hand filled with sandalwood, paste for the king Krishna swings to himself away from the crowd and ask her the most beautiful maiden to spare some paste for him. Tearfully Kubja objected to his words but Krishna's soft touch and enchanted words eased all her pain immediately she was transformed into the prettiest woman So my child know that Isra she who dreams rests upon a rock under a rising full moon a moonflower wind winds up her leg and around her arm to wave through her hair the blooming flowers create a temporary tiara brought to the light of the moon so isra dreams as the wind whisks her hair while leaves dance in the breeze she knows how to escape the harshness of the so called real world listening to the music of the celestial chord she closes her eyes her fantasy brings her contentment so she takes time to drift into her dreams The message brought by Isra is to honor your dreams they allow you a sanctuary where you can actually disappear and give your doubts and worries a much needed break So let your soul be soothed by impractical fantasies and foolish notions every day when you acknowledge the power of the mental escape you can begin to see which of your fears are real and which are unreal you will also learn which of your fantasies are closer to reality than you thought This insight is the gift of she who dreams what is my craziest dream. So as the smallest star of the Pallades, Seleno supports you to heal your inner child. It takes courage, deep contemplation and commitment to heal past hurts, limiting beliefs and fractures of the hurt stemming from childhood. Your feelings are significant. Communicate with authenticity for inner harmony and healing. Embrace your inner child with loving compassion and your precious soul will feel unified and integrated once more your youthful innocence returns you are revived ask yourself what sparks your joy rediscover your playfulness and allow your inner child to shine so my child know that observe the way they wake up and take note of what makes them laugh know when it's about them and when it's about you find the spectacular in the mundane ask them to text you when they get home to work to their vacation destination be infinitely curious about how they live their days take time apart make group on the couch embrace the fact you don't know what is best for them set boundaries express gratitude practice trust even when it's scary and especially then 
keep both feet on the ground admit your mistakes accept their apologies throw away the score card kiss like you mean it ask more questions accept that it can be really hard to merge two paths keep trying to anyway give them the ox card give them the last try give them the last word even if you are really fucking figure out what is worth the fight and what is not hold the door hold their hand hold a space save them a seat notice the scattered gold flecks in their eyes tell them you are proud of them tell them this often dance in the kitchen play hide and seek in the grocery store no you are lucky don't be hasty point out the dip in the sidewalk offer your arm offer your heart offer your world no when it's time to lovingly let go no when you need to hang on like hell so my child no dad a mistake we are prone to make is to hide our emotions from god maybe we fear that our emotions will get in the way of our relationship with him or that he will judge us or stop loving us because of it but faith in god is not opposed to emotional distress we don't develop strong faith or courage by denying our emotions vulnerabilities and needs it is the opposite that truth is our emotions became a bigger barrier in our relationship with god when we don't bring them to him they end up blocking us from appreciating god's grace wisdom and power our spiritual emotional piping gets clogged with anxiety resentment depression or shame this is understands all of your emotions he does not ask you to deny them Instead he invites you to open up the hurting part of yourself to receive his comfort and grace. He invites you to trust his love, truth and empathy by sharing openly and honestly with him and save friends in the body of Christ. This is always a helpful validating and straightening posture to get into and actually it is what enables us to move forward with God in healthy faith and with real courage when we are vulnerable and hurting. So do I still think of you? Yes, do I still talk about you? Yes, and it is not that I am not over it or I have not moved on with my life because I have I am leading a life. I am really proud of one I wish in moments you were still around to see. But when I think of some of my happiest moment it is you that comes to mind when I think of love you are the one I love last and that is what felt most real so yes I still think of you I still talk about you but it's not because i'm not over it but because i hope and pray that next time something and someone that good comes into my life they stay i pray for a love that is deep enough to overcome uncertainties you were not able to pray for a love that is deep enough to talk about the things we were not able to 
I pray for a love that is deep enough to not quite me, but you are you and I am I destined for merely passing. So sometimes we cling to what we know because we don't know what is to come and how much better that will be. We cling to our past until someone comes along who is better than better becomes our new past. You will still have some bad days, weeks maybe in the rust days. You will have a few bad months, but you have to understand that happiness comes in a waves and there has never been an ocean entirely frozen. You are making progress and I am extremely proud of you for your strength and perseverance. It might get rough, but I need you to believe that eventually it will get better and it always does. Your growth is not defined by your bad days. You are not defined by your bad days. You are light because of your darkness. You know how to shine even brighter. Take all the time you need to strive from the place you are in now. Everything is temporary and even the darkest times will pass. So you will be fine, remember that. My child, know that. A new age partnership is like a gentle mirror that reflects every aspect of us, helping us to negotiate the path of self-awareness more easily. In this partnership, we feel as though we can fly. It gives us the strength to believe that anything is possible, that we can grow and be a mutual support to each other. It teaches us that everyone and everything is unique and divine. You have drawn this message because your soul path is touching that of another person. The two of you now have the opportunity to combine and merge your paths for a time that will be mutually enriching. Alternatively, you are already in a partnership. That is now. So demonstrating the required maturity and necessary willingness to reveal itself as a partnership worthy of the new world, your partnership will be a mirror for all the partnerships of the new world that will emerge in the future. Dive deep into the core of your emotional world where a special alchemy lies hidden. Surrender completely to the magic of your feelings and discover deep within you. So an irreplaceable creative light that is ready to create beauty. The time has come to take control of your emotions but without building walls or imposing limitations. Bring calm and serenity to your innermost feelings so that you can find and make use of the magic that lies within. Once you have brought calm into this world and mastered it, allow your feelings to govern your soul path, sense this path and feel it, then follow it and as it is the path of your heart, the path of your pure feelings.
So surrender completely to life and to the creativity deep within you. Use your imagination, be expressive, dance and sing. Love and play and the path of the soul is the path of the heart too. It lies in a dimension that our minds are unable to comprehend. So my child know that. And ye shall have on the 10th day of the 7th month on holy conviction and ye shall afflict your souls ye shall not do any work therein. A several tank deal for one lamb throughout the seven lamb, one kid of the goats for a sin offering beside the sin offering of atonement and the continual burn offering and the main offering of it and their drink offerings. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately comes from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and come unto them, and because he was of the same craft he abode with them and brought, for by their occupation they were tank makers, and he responded in the synagogue every sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. And in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, ye shall have an holy conviction, shall do we survive work. It is a day of blowing the drum unto you, and you shall after a burnt offering for a sweet savour unto the Lord. One young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year without blemish, and their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil, three tent deals for a bullock, and two tent deals for a ram, and one tent deal for one lamb, throughout the seven lambs, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering. to make an atonement for you beside the burnt offering of the month and his meat offering and the daily burnt offering and his meat offering and their drink offering according unto their manner for a sweet savour, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. So my child, know that. Truth and justice is top of the agenda and throw out of situations being put right. There are right things that you held back on divine mescaline that you are logging to speak out on resolve. But you are not really all that comfortable with opening up your heart and soul to others even though you feel very deeply.
you know that by not speaking out you are doing yourself a disservice and it's adding to your pain if you hurt someone else you want them to know you did not mean if you are hurting just as much there may well be some underlying trust issue to resolve here and this may well be causing some self sabotaging behaviors in you and why you also don't feel comfortable opening up on your feelings but if you can deal with this there is chance of a new beginning drawing for you this is an opportunity to resolve a deep trust issue that prevent you from moving forward and you may have put your trust in others in the past where they betrayed that trust and now it's harder to know who to put your trust into but this is a chance for you to break this cycle and learn to trust and open up again this is you don't need to give chapter and words straight away need to communicate your fears your feelings any apologies you feel are due if any and if you are able to explain some of the back story then it might help both in terms of getting it off your chest and in helping the other person to understand you a little more trust can build in time but you have to open up and communicate a bit in order to start this process and allow that cycle to come to end and for situations to heal So my child know that this would be a love reading let's see what the spirit has for today there might be intense tension energy between you and them or you and yourself for some there are some kind of projection coming to you the surface so make sure you are cleans your own energy and around you The situation can be challenging and hard to resist but the spirit wants you to understand you have all the power to conquer all those obstacles although you might unsure which path you need to go to moving forward right now If you are wondering whether you should move on or stay it is clear as the card says however this is not about wait and sit to see the change from this person this is also speaking about how you need to move on with your life while you are trusting the progress in this connection and your person So my child know that 
trust the pros progress because you are making the way to your own successful in love career financially there will be rewards and recognition from your very hard work stay focused and patience Despite the situation you are in right now the spirits wants you to trust the situation and progress because it is like the energy is shifting to the deepest level and separation There is no doubt this connection is moving into something moving in marriage build something together and all will be victory for both of you for some there might be little bit high wave but you two are always be able to stand all the test This love is pure and lucky to have each other as well as to witness both of you grow together as individually or together single try to enjoy and be present be more playfulness don't worry too much because this person got eyes on you so they see your energy is very interesting and never boring to spend time with keep going keep doing what you need to do in your career life complete your project finish your deadline task because this will be rewarded very very soon and the reward will bring the financial stability and security into your life one more move with confidence as it will take you into another level the justice tarot is all about fairness balance and ethical judgment it speaks to our sense of morality and ethical responsibility urging us to act with integrity and in line with our values The justice card indicates a need for legal or financial matters to be resolved but it can also signal a deeper need for inner balance and fairness in our relationship and personal lives. The star card represents hope, healing and renewal. The star card suggests that we are on the right path and that we should continue to follow our intuition as we move forward this card also represents inspiration faith and dream connection to higher powers and it is a reminder that we are never alone and that we are supported by the universe and you are becoming a new you Type yes if you have faith and trust in God. You must how focus on the deep meaning and purpose of your life. Your wishes will be granted. You will successfully accomplish your destiny.